A West Mercia Police Constable was under fire from the public recently after being caught parked in a disabled person's parking bay. However, police chiefs, of course, are defending the officer, saying that he had a genuine reason for parking in that bay. And that reason was not because he was disabled, by the way. Member of the public, Naomi Howell, a driver with a blue badge herself, challenged the constable after spotting him parked in the disabled bay, only for him to respond with, mind your own business. The interaction took place at Sainsbury's in St John's Kidderminster, but Chief Inspector David Troth, that's Troth, not Troth, claims that the officer needed quick access to the store after reports of a shoplifter who had been detained by shop staff. Chief Inspector Troff said further to the photograph of the police car parked in a disabled bay being brought to our attention, we have looked into the matter and established the officer had a genuine reason to park there. The officer was responding to a report of a shoplifter having been detained at a nearby supermarket and required quick access to the store. Police officers are not above the law and must abide by the same parking restrictions as members of the public. However, when they are responding to incidents quickly, it is not always possible for these to be followed, and I would hope members of the public would understand public safety is our absolute priority. However, Naomi Howell claims the constable was in the car at the time, saying he was having his tea, but when I went up and asked him why he'd parked there, he said, mind your own business. Even if it was an emergency, he could have parked anywhere. Now, looking at the images, as I don't know exactly where this is, I have the basis on the images, we can see what appears to be three empty normal parking spaces, which could have been available to the constable. Granted, these spaces may or may not have been there at the time of his arrival, but if the shoplifter, if there was a shoplifter, was already being detained by shop staff and a few extra seconds wouldn't have made much of a difference, so I think he could have easily have found a parking space to park legally. Also, if he was in the vehicle after dealing with the shoplifter, which is unlikely as it appears he was on his own with no one in custody, then he should have moved before tucking into his lunch. I understand that in some emergency cases, police need to pull up where they can, and that could be a problem. But in an emergency case, the general public almost always gives way to that potential. But police seem to call everything an emergency these days, almost as if it then mitigates them acting like complete twants. A shoplifter who had been detained is not an emergency. A child being hacked up by a machete, however, is an emergency. There is a huge difference. And using the fact you're police to break the law and then blatantly bullshit your way out of it is a disgusting abuse of position. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments.